Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I've decided that I wanted to show you guys how exactly I do scrapbook backgrounds because that's another thing I love to do and I've almost completed one of my first scrapbooks. And for this project, I usually use glue sticks, Elmer's glue, hot glue, depending on whatever I can get my hands on, cardstock paper, and different kinds of decorative paper as you guys will see. I typically just go to Joann's or go to any kind of arts and crafts store when I know that there's a sale on their paper. It's like 40% off, 50% off, and I usually rack up that way, so that way I'm not breaking my bank. So if you guys would like to do that and get decorative paper without really spending full price, that's the best way to do it if you ask me. And along with this, you will also need scissors, rulers, and um, to actually tack the pictures on there, I use the clear photo edgers I'll, I'll show it in the video and i'll also put a link in the description and there's also another thing that i use i don't exactly know the name but i will put it in the description as well these two things is what i use to actually put pictures inside of the scrapbook on top of the paper when i'm done with the background so i hope you guys can see how i do this and i hope you guys can replicate it Now usually when I'm working on a section, I usually go two pages at a time so I can get a full spread out and I usually design the background first before I actually pick the pictures that I want to use in the spread. Either way you want to do it, it's fine and for this I chose in between two things. I kind of wanted something more purple or blue but in the end I chose purple and then I looked through and I found what background I liked and then I picked that out. I picked out my background pictures I pulled out the cardstock file and usually I choose a contrasting color or a complementary color to go on the border but in this particular video I decided to use both a contrasting and a complementary color and I didn't know exactly how I was gonna pull off when I did choose it but I knew I wanted to use both so as you guys can see I will be playing around with it and rearranging the the papers to figure out how exactly I want it to be arranged. Once I have my background colors and the background pictures that I want to have in the scrapbook, now this is when I usually measure out and, and cut the pictures or the paper to actually fit the pages. So what I usually do, I take a pencil and I flip the paper over. So if I do like mess up on measurements, it doesn't really matter because that part's going to be glued down onto the scrapbook. And I draw out guiding lines and guiding measurements so that way when I do cut out everything, when I paste it down, it fits nicely into the scrapbook. So you guys will see this now.
I know some people would prefer using a ruler, but for me, it's easier for me to just grab a piece of paper, use it as um, a straight edge, and then draw the line that way. Simply because I'm lazy, I don't feel like finding my ruler, but it always works. If you have a ruler, you can use it, but if you don't, it's not the end of the world. You just line up the edges of the paper, slide it over towards the pencil line, the pencil marking that you, you wrote on the top of the page, and you just keep drawing that line down. And there you go. done with all the pencil markings and after I've gotten everything that I needed to get kind of written out that's when I start cutting and then as I cut I visualize where everything's gonna go that way if I need to make more of something I can and as you will see in this video I ended up making about six more straps of paper that I realized I would need to do two full pages so that's also something you keep in mind as you're preparing to do the background for the sketchbook I mean, for the scrapbook, I would generally try and visualize it if you can, but if you can't, that's okay. I mean, either way, as you do it, you'll figure out there's stuff that you need. You could always cut out more pieces of paper or grab another sheet or, you know, just start over if you have to. That's the beauty of arts and crafts. If it doesn't come out the way that you want it to, you could always just cover it up with something else, you know? done cutting out everything that I would need for the spread I opened the book back up and I just figured out what direction I wanted what color to be in and then after that that's when I actually started pasting the background if you want your background to be more complicated you can use like glitter or stickers you know just make it fun and festive but since I didn't really know what was gonna go on the spread yet I just wanted to keep it simple because I could always go back and add something or glue something else on when I figured out what I was going to add and I also plan on starting a different scrapbook for my college life now and just being in adulthood and all that good stuff so this was more along the lines of just instructional purposes than me actually filling it up but at the end of the video I will show you guys actual spreads that I did 
decorate and kind of go all out for because you know the special memories and all that good stuff and yeah As you guys can see here are some examples of actual backgrounds that I kind of dolled up to go with you know the special moments or pictures that I really felt like needed to be highlighted or accentuated. If you guys like what you've seen today and you want to see more crafts like this on this channel, just please be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below what you'd like to see me do. I know this is mostly an art channel for right now, but I do do a lot of arts and crafts, and I would like to share that with you guys. So 
let me know down below. Thank you and have a nice day.